All right, so this video will probably be a few days of herping combined uh, once again, but I'm at this local lake right now, and I just found this giant plains garter snake. Um, it was moving along the edge, uh, kind of hopped in the water and walked the shoreline, and then I was able to get it. Uh, it doesn't look like it's grabbed because it's not very uh, big down by the tail end, um, but it's really wide with the rest of its body. I mean, it's a it's a very solid sized plains garter snake, probably two and a half feet long, but it's just super thick. Um, but I'm definitely gonna try to get some pictures and then I'll let this guy go. All right, well, I'm gonna set this big guy just back down in the bush where it can keep on hunting for food here on the side of the lake. Thought it was a bull snake at first just because of how big it sounded, but hopefully I can walk one of those right along here, but we'll see. All right, so I was just picking up my friend from his house and on his street, we got a bull snake. We've been having really warm weather in the 90s. Uh, so I was I was honestly kind of thinking like maybe we just go drive around for fun, seeing if we can cruise something. And on his street, we got a bull snake right here. I'm gonna get some better lighting so you can actually see the snake. All right, so here's a little bit better look at its patterning. Um, obviously it's not that big of a bull snake, but nice, nice black at the head and then just kind of more brown. This its tail is a bit of a stub though, that's interesting. I think we're gonna release this guy um, not back into the neighborhood right here. Um, we'll just release it like a mile from here in a nearby more outdoor field uh, so that this won't become toast to someone's dog or somebody. Um, but actually I'm really stoked about this find, uh, but we'll let it go here in a second. All right, well I just brought it to a outdoor trail area and uh, we'll let it go on its way. First, uh, might be my first entirely at all road cruise snake of the year but really glad that it's going to be to that time hopefully i'll find some time to get out but cool seeing a bull snake all right well i'm once again out trying to catch a soft shell turtle i got very close a few times earlier today um and that was at the lake behind me i was gonna come check out this little pond right here we got a painted turtle that i guess was making its way out of it and was probably headed to the big lake pretty decently sized but i'm gonna get some pictures and let this guy go all right, well, here's a slightly better look at it. Um, I'm gonna, I am gonna move it across to the lake that's just right over there. They're, they're doing some construction on a pipeline right now, which is super annoying. And it's right in between these two, but assuming he was leaving that pond and headed right in the direction of the lake, I think I'll just take him there um, so that the pipeline doesn't get in his way. Um, but this is only like probably my second or third I've seen this year. Nice yellow stripes. But, um, of course, that orange un underside, but uh, we're just going to let this guy go. All right, well, we were about to let this guy go, and then I uh, saw this other guy moving down this little thing back into the pond right here. So I'll, I'll probably just set them both back in the pond. Um, but another painted turtle. Um, this one has nice coloration as well. It's really bad lighting right now. The clouds are behind the clouds are in front of the sun and I'm kind of backlit as well with shade. So not the best lighting, but there you go. There's a bit better look at that yellow and orange. Um, but we are going to, I'm going to get some pictures of this guy as well and then let them both go. All right, well, I'm once again at the same pond trying to catch this soft shell turtle. I'm with Hayden uh, and he just spotted this guy swimming in the water um, and it carried a stick out of the water in his mouth which is weird, but uh, it's not one to hold still much. We won't spend a lot of time with him. We'll just let it go back in the water and continue to hunt, but a decently looking wandering garter snake. Has some pretty decent patterning as far as these guys go, but we'll let him go here in a second. All right, well, unfortunately, no luck with the soft shell yet, and we're probably about to call it, um, but we did catch this other plains garter snake right here. This one's Pretty thick and big as you can see it's likely to be a gravid female so we're just gonna we'll just release it right now just in case it is um, so we'll watch that guy go back into the brush um, and maybe we'll get that soft shell eventually but our expectations aren't too high all right well it is about 
7.15 in the evening. Me and Hayden are going to do some hiking for Hognose. Um, but we just cruised this ornate box tour right here. We saw another one just about the same size. It was had just been hit by a car on the road, unfortunately. But glad to see this guy's doing all right. We'll probably see quite a few of these guys tonight. So we'll just uh, finish ex escorting him off the road. All right, and we got another one right here. They're definitely going to be out tonight, which is always a good sign for seeing other stuff. This one was all the way off the road, just kind of in a little side ditch on the side of the road. But we'll get them off there. Box turtle number two. Pretty common out here, but still cool to see any herp nonetheless. Uh, but there it goes. All right, well, one thing I was not expecting to find at all that we just found within the first two minutes is this milk snake right here. It's, it was 90 degrees earlier today. It's still like in the 80s right now. Um, sun is kind of going down though, so it is a little bit more shaded, but still 90 degrees earlier today. It's taking a nice bite of me. And I flipped this little milk snake right here. Uh, been a couple weeks, I think, since we've seen one. So we were <laughs> super stoked about this find. Super unexpected, honestly. Just thought we'd be walking stuff, and here we have a flipped milk snake but wow just awesome gonna get some pictures and we'll let it go all right well here's one more look at this milk snake i'm not gonna take too much time trying to photograph it with this lighting right now um hayden will try for a bit um but awesome seeing this guy hopefully we can maybe see some hog nose now or more milks would be a-okay but uh we'll see if we can find some more here all right, well, we just had a nice uh, little stream of success. There's that one whip tail that got away as I tried to flip under the board and ran under, under another piece of cover. And I was able to grab that guy along with another whip tail, or excuse me, race runner, along with another race runner right here. And this guy's tail uh, lost recently, probably from some predator that was getting away from. That one's definitely the nicest coloration. Some nice blue on the underside. Um, yeah. And then Hayden was walking over here to help me hold them for a second and two box turtles just right up in the grass over there. Um, so it's looking like we have a pretty fun night ahead of us, but we're just gonna let these, all these guys go and we'll keep on going. All right, I'm not gonna take too much time with some of these finds, um, but another race runner right here. Nice coloration, got that blue tint on just nice and green. Um, but I'll just set it back under its cover this guy was really slow. Alright, well this is kind of a cool find that Hayden just came across. Dead box turtle. Um, just that white looks really cool. The underside looks almost normal. And some of the sides where the, the cover hasn't completely peeled off yet. And there's still some of the bones inside. But interesting find. Just another race runner right here. Not best lighting, but I'll set it back under its board. Alright, well here we got our first walk snake got a rattlesnake right here prairie rattlesnake um walking any snake really finding any snake is a good sign but walking a snake is a good find because that's our best bet for these hog nose um this is hayden's first one of the year surprisingly and also surprisingly just my second one of the year even though these can be found all throughout colorado um it just seems like they've been found a little bit less often this year compared to other years for us and other herpers as well um, but we won't disturb it too much. Really cool we could see another one of these guys though. We'll get some pictures and then we'll let this rattlesnake go back on its way. All right, well Hayden's taking pictures of that rattlesnake and I just found this very small box turtle as you can see. Uh, always really difficult lighting as I said before when it's sunset, you can't really get a good shot without making a shadow in the way but a uh, small boxer right here and we'll just let him go back on its way all right well i just found this race runner and found that one right there and in between us there was a box turtle just sitting there this one it's probably might be the biggest one we've seen so far with some pretty good yellow coloration but it was already sitting in its shell like that we'll probably just leave it there and to keep on hiking 
All right, well, I'm gonna try to get some quick video before this train gets here. Um, I'm not gonna get too close so that he can get some NC2 photos with his camera. But there's a really, really light colored, lightly colored prairie rattlesnake just sitting right there. I'll get up or closer in a second after we get some NC2 photos, but uh, we got a train coming, so we're just gonna put this on pause. Got a box turtle right up over here. I'll just let him run off. It was eating something, had something in his mouth, can't quite tell what, but there it goes. All right, well, we're gonna do a little bit of cruising. Um, it's a little bit on the cool side, but you might be able to find something. Well, we did find something. We got a Woodhouse's Toad right here, but we might be able to cruise some snakes here in a bit. But this Woodhouse's Toad is pretty big. There's Hayden's hand right there. Um, kind of an interesting pattern, um, but we're gonna get it off the road. I think I see a car a mile or two down, so we'll just get out of the way, get this guy off the road, and see if we can find anything else. All right, we got another wood house right here. This one's much smaller. Um, hasn't rained at all today or in the last few days, but um, they're still out, probably just because with how much rain we've gotten in total this year has been crazy. Um, but we'll just get them off the road here. All right, and wood house is number three. Almost as big as the first one, but not quite. Uh, it was on the other side of the road from where we were, and then a, a car was passing us, but thankfully didn't hit it. Um, but we'll get it off the road. All right, another wood house is right here. Pretty big as well. We're just gonna get it off the road. Um, no snakes yet. We're probably about to head out, so um, at least we found a few toads, but we're gonna get this guy off the road and uh, head on out of here. All right, well, two more right here, side by side for comparison. Um, I think that's six so far. Still kind of just heading out of here, but still looking on the way. Um, but we got them out of the road and we'll let them get out of here. <laughs> 